So now is the time, 2024. Now is the time to take and set the opportunities for what you want to create for yourself. We really need to release from the past the stories that we've had, the beliefs that we've had about ourselves or how we feel the world is going, and to maybe step into something totally new. Now, what does that mean? We're often held by the patterns of the past, by our belief systems, especially those that can feel very challenging or heavy. For example, how could I do anything different? This is all that I've known. And so we often don't challenge ourselves to something new because we don't even know if we have the potential to move into something new. But now is the time to step into the totally unknown. We have to set up new possibilities for ourselves. Now, when we do that, we're going to come across our own uncertainties, our own anxiety, maybe even fear, maybe even frustration or belief that we're not able to make it step into a new possibility or something unknown. An example might be, let's say you want to think about going to a new job. You're not satisfied with where you are but we're not sure if we would like that place, a new place. What if it's worse than the place that we're at now? What if I don't understand what the expectations are in the new place? But we have to think back that anything that we've ever done in our life at one time was unknown to us. Whether it was a job we set into, whether it was taking a learning course, building a new friendship or relationship, everything at one time was unknown to us. What we needed to do was have something that drove us to be able to go into the unknown. Now, what was that? Usually, it's some kind of a desire a determination in us and quite frankly sometimes we're going into a new possibility out of desperation we just don't want the old way anymore it doesn't fit us it's creating depression anxiety frustration so that's sometimes a driving force also to be able to make that jump we want to have a focus and what are we really aiming for? Well, something different. We're not satisfied with where we are. And we know not exactly what we're moving into. We just want something different. We don't know if we'll like it or dislike it, but the only way is to go and start to allow ourselves to have a new experience. To be able to allow ourselves to have a new experience, we have to release ourselves from the past, release ourselves from what we've believed about ourselves, like, I don't know if I could ever learn that, or all the what ifs that go through our mind and our thoughts. Those what ifs will still be there, but we have to be careful that they're not front and center in our focus. Rather, we kind of turn the noise level down on it. It may be on the, in the back of us. We still hear it running. But what needs to be on the forefront is what are we doing or how come we are so willing to step into the unknown and allow ourselves to maybe get an image or something we want to feel different inside of ourselves. I want to feel alive. I want to feel connected. I want to feel happy. I want to feel satisfied. These are the types of things that will drive you to be able to go into the unknown. Now, I just want to be clear that 
I'm talking about something. And to do it requires your focus, requires your action. On the inside of you is where your world is really happening. How you look at things and how you perceive is very unique to each person. We'll all look at the same thing. Could be a painting or a scene in nature. And each one of us will see something different dependent on so many factors. Where we grew up, our culture, what we've learned, what we didn't learn, our beliefs. There is so much, too much to actually say in such a short period of time. What we want to realize is that our perception is happening inside of us. And if that's happening inside of us, then we have the opportunity to challenge that perception. We may want to ask ourselves some questions. For example, this is what I'm seeing and what I'm believing. But is that really true? Or are there other ways to see and look at this? Are there other angles I haven't considered? Think about it this way. If you're sitting in a room and there's maybe four chairs and you have your favorite chair, that's where you sit. When you sit there, the room looks in one way to you. That's your vantage point. But what if one day you decided to go and sit in one of those other three seats? That room will look totally different to you because it's from a different vantage point. What you're trying to create in yourself when you move into new possibilities and the unknown is to create different vantage points. To be able to do that, you're going to have to create a different experience for yourself. How to create a different experience? It's going to be you who challenges your current reality and your current way of doing or seeing things. So consider it a challenge and an opportunity for you to grow and create a new reality and experience that's on the inside of yourself. So how do we create a new experience? Truthfully, sometimes we can be overwhelmed and uncertain. Best thing? Pretend. For most of us, when we we're little kids, we used to pretend. We used to imagine. We would create games in our head that we wanted to play on our own or with our friends. We would create an image of what our day might be like. So when you're creating a new reality, you get to pretend. What would it be like if I were living a life that I was happy with? What would it be like if I was fully content for the most part every day or most of my day? What might that feel like inside of me? How would my body feel? What would my thoughts be regularly during the day? What might my emotions be? What might be around me? Who would be around me? What kind of environment? I'm giving you questions to consider, but when we were kids, we never considered those questions. I'm just giving them to you so you can remember about how to start creating. When we start letting ourselves go, our imagination will fall into place. This is natural for all of us. It has always been there. We're just tapping into those resources again. So the first step for you is to say yes to yourself, that you're moving into the unknown and unfamiliar. Sometimes to be able to do that, we have to remember 
that in the past we've moved into the unknown and unfamiliar and that we were successful at it. So anything you've learned up to this moment, at one time you didn't know. You have to look back and remember that you got it and you did it. And sometimes when we're challenged or maybe we even believe that we failed at something, maybe we, it took us on a different path and we learned something different. Or maybe we kept challenging ourselves till we did something. For example, as a kid wanting to climb a tree. And maybe the first couple of times you couldn't get your foot right on the tree to get up. But maybe be, you became so determined or you waited another week and you grew another inch and then you got up that tree. Or maybe you had a friend come along and boost you up. So we don't give up. We keep going towards our vision that we're creating in our mind's eye. These are the opportunities that are presenting themselves for you as we go into the experience, frankly, of each day. When you finish one day, that day is gone. It's over. You can never reclaim it, but you can learn from it. And the next day you wake up is an opportunity to do it the same way as you always have or do it totally different. So remember to look back and realize that you have experienced and accomplished as well as we've all probably had an experience of not doing so well. Learn from everything. Then set your vision about where you want to go or what you want to feel. That's going to start driving you forward, how you want something to be different than what it is right now. And then you recognize exactly where you are right now and that you have steps to take. You have action that you have to put in place to be able to get to where you want to be. And that you use your past experience, whether that past experience you consider fantastic or difficult as an opportunity to move you right now where you are to taking the next step towards where you want to get to and what you're trying to create. So my friends, I want to say to you, now is the time. There is nothing left to wait for. Your life is this moment. Your opportunity is this moment. There's nothing to wait for. Take in the moment and say yes to yourself and yes to your light and your soul to go into a brand new direction where you'll find contentment and joy, peace and possibility and all these amazing words we think of. Have an amazing time on your journey into the unknown.